ladies and gentlemen. Nah, it's your boy Gene with G-Squared Tactical. Yes, I do have another CZ P10C on the table today. Well, didn't you just review a P10C? I did, I did. But it was the threaded barrel optic ready version that I've been carrying around. And when we done the review, I made a comment during the review that got the, what do we call them? Keyboard princesses, the trolls, whatever we want to call them. Got them hot and bothered, got them hot under the collar, started attacking us a little bit, calling us pansies, saying that our hands were, you know, soft, girly, we needed a manicure. And so I actually do need a manicure. I mean, you know, these are, I've been doing HVAC for 25 years, so these are some, some hardworking hands, but I actually kind of probably could use a little manicure there. But anyway, I had mentioned during the review, tabletop and range, that it was more snappy than I expected it to be. Now that was this one, the threaded barrel optic ready version does, does not have an optic on it. And that was surprising to me. And I, you know, I said that it was more snappy than the Glock 19. Now that did not mean that I didn't like it more than the Glock 19, cause I do. And anyone that watches the channel knows that that's true. But I had let a guy at the range who has a military background, shoots a lot, a ton actually, maybe even more than me working at a range. But he had been contemplating whether or not to buy the P10C because it was so cheap and over a Glock 19 that he was going to buy. He had never had a Glock 19. And I was, oh, dude, you totally got to get the P10C. I'm telling you, man, you'll like it more, yada, yada, yada. So I took it to the range. Let me know whenever I go. Yeah, you do. All right. to let him shoot it this was after i had already shot it actually no that's not true it was the very first time that we had shot the gun so well, i think we both were kind of thinking the same thing and we were looking at one another wondering whether or not we should say what we were thinking you know how guys are you know like we, we didn't want to call each other recoil sensitive or pansies or whatever but we both finally admitted and said the same thing. And I asked him because he adjusted his grip on the gun while he was shooting. And I said, hey man, why, why are you adjusting your grip? Is it, is it like, you know, I'm trying to get him to admit it, you know. Finally he did, he said, yeah, man, surprise. And he mentioned it several more times over the following days that it was surprisingly uh, snappy and that certainly it was more so than the Glock 19, which he had shot a lot. So that made some people mad again. They came out of the woodwork saying all kinds of things. Well, it just baffled me. Honestly, it baffled me. Again, it didn't make me like it less than a Glock 19 or like it more. It just kind of, I was still in the same boat. I've always been with CZ. I just prefer the brand. I love the CZ pistols, right? But it was baffling me. Like I just don't get it because I have a CZ P10S and I just don't recall, I carried it for years, I still have it. I just don't recall it being that snappy. And so I said, what is it? There has to be an explanation. Now, if you've watched reviews on both of these, the non-optic, non-threaded bar uh, barrel version 
and you maybe maybe you've watched one where it's non-threaded but has the optic i don't know i think there's a few different ones variants if you will and they've not said anything like that or one being more snappy than another then hey who who the heck knows maybe i got a faulty gun or something it performed fine shot fine love the freaking thing it was accurate as any other cz i've had but maybe who knows maybe there's something wrong with mine but I thought, you know, it's got to be because it's suppressor ready. It's got to be something to do with the spring. It has to be some somehow the way it's set up stiffer, you know. Because when we put the suppressor on there, it shot like, um, it recoiled like a 22. Honestly, it did. It did. Ah, yeah, that's got to be it, you know. And so, naturally, I came home and started trying to find out some information. This is a safe gun. Let's see if it can take this thing down here. This, this being the, obviously the non-optic ready, non-threaded barrel version here on my, or on your left. I don't know how you'd be looking at it, but this firearm is also safe. So let's take it down. It's going to give me a little bit of trouble there. So I got to looking at it, thinking the spring is going to be different. I'm going to open it up and the spring is without question going to be different. But when I opened them up, flipped them over, I noticed that they both were the same color. Again, not sure if that means they're the same weight. And I just could not find out any definitive information online. If you know, maybe you could tell us, I could not seem to find out anything online they both feel the same they feel like they're under the same amount of tension they both look like they have the same spacing they don't look any different whatsoever they look like the exact same spring so then here i was left with well why does the non-threaded barrel version recoil less than the threaded barrel version and I still don't know the answer to that question anymore now. So this, this video is more of a, of a plea, if you will, for someone to let me know. You know, is the spring different? And I'm just not that sensitive to it. Again, I'm not a gunsmith. Like I've said before, I, you know, I pull a trigger and talk about it. So I, I don't know, maybe the spring is different and I'm just not sensitive to that because again, I'm not a gunsmith. But the spring doesn't look any different. It doesn't really feel any different, but again, maybe it is. Maybe somebody could help me. Thing's gonna be a pain in the neck, so I'm gonna leave it there till I'm off camera. But again, the spring seems the same, but at the range, uh, the only difference was we were indoors when we were shooting the threaded barrel version, and I was outdoors when I was shooting this version. Don't know what in the world that would have to do with it recoiling differently, better, worse, I don't know, but definitely was a noticeable difference in recoil. I even shot the threaded barrel version out at the range. Same day outside, um, and you know, I could notice the difference, or I did notice the difference even outside, so I was making a little joke about maybe it's because it was indoors, but it certainly wasn't that because it, it did the same thing outside. It felt as though it had, now I wouldn't call it significant, but it was definitely more snappy. So I wanted him to shoot this gun because I'm like, listen, if this is the one you were gonna buy anyway, and I picked this thing up at a local mom and pop store. He was asking $349.99 plus tax, sold it to me for $350 cash out the door, paper. You can't beat that. It's a phenomenal gun for that price, and why they have dropped the price of the gun so much, <clears throat> I don't know. You know, there's all kinds of rumors going around. Oh, they're coming out with a new line, yada, yada, yada. Who the heck knows? But I did shoot this. I only put, I believe, two magazines, maybe three. My wife might have shot it. I can't remember. 
But so that's uh, these don't have the plus two four floor plates like the optic ready version did, but it does hold 15 rounds. So what would that math be? 45 rounds, maybe a box. I think I put a 50 round box through the gun. It was flawless, no problems as as expected. The CZ brand for me still has the reputation of being one of only two brands in my safe that has never given me a problem and this one was no different. It feels phenomenal in the hand as in the tabletop for the threaded barrel version. I've already mentioned that the sharp needle like stippling on the front I could do without but I could always put a piece of talon grip or grip tape or something on that but Again, in a defensive situation, that's not going to matter. Still has the steel sights, not plastic, like the Glock 19. Don't know who needs to hear that, but I said it. Has a nice ledge on the, on the sight, just like on the threaded barrel version, except for on the threaded barrel version, the sight does sit up a little bit higher because it will co-witness with your optic, and they are suppressor height sights. So the ledge is not as pronounced, but it is a nice ledge on there for racking the slide. And it still is the luminescent sights that will absorb light and will be just like night sights for maybe three or four minutes if you were to walk into a dark room. So you still have the same luminescent sights, front rear serrations, memory pads, same stippling on the grip, same trigger guard, same trigger. Everything is the same except this one doesn't have as high of sights. It's not optic ready and it does not have a threaded barrel. Just pure joy to shoot at the range. Very, very accurate. My wife always says that when she shoots the CZ brand. And honestly, if any of you guys know why it is that my optic ready threaded barrel version had, I don't know, put it in a percentage from zero to a hundred percent put a percentage on it how much more recoil it had the threaded barrel version had over this one i would say the recoil was 30 percent more over this one just again shooting them side by side same range same day same ammo everything was the same indoors outdoors same ammo it was fiochi or Fioki or however you say it, it was, everything was the same. Side by side, outside at the outdoor range, it was noticeable, 30% at least. I had my wife to shoot it, I had Trey to shoot it. Again, the guy at the gun store, every single one of them said they could tell a noticeable difference between the recoil on this one and the threaded barrel version, but I do not know why. But one thing I can tell you of a certainty, as accurate as this thing was and as accurate as I know that it will be with the SCS on here once it comes in stock and I'm able to get it on here, and as concealable as this thing is, totally is not going to make one difference to me. It's not going to be a deciding factor in whether I would carry it, conceal it, nightstand, truck, nothing. Plain, period, simple. It's an accurate, reliable gun totally better than a Glock 19 in every way. And if you want to chit chat about that in the comment section, then we can do that. Glock's a good gun, it works. I have no beef with Glock, but at $350 in some cases, even if you had to pay tax, you're getting out the door around 400 bucks, go out and buy this gun. If you've been contemplating about it, thinking why is it so cheap, is there something, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a great, great firearm by a great company, go out, pick it up. Please go over, check out our website, gsquaretactical.com, pick up some hats, coasters, shirts. You know, we got 37,000 subscribers and only one person has bought anything from our website. Go over and check it out, G squared, that's G squared with a D, gsquaretactical.com, pick you up something. Thanks for watching today. Leave your comments in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up. Let everybody know where they can find the best blue collar reviews on YouTube. Thanks for watching and be blessed.